This is a quick video to discuss the, uh, the legendary crafted weapons. So there was a patch that came out recently, 1.2.10. And in that, one of the bugs they fixed was uh, to, to resolve an issue where you could not create a legendary weapon if the weapon had less than four parts. Because under the hood, it technically used four parts, even though through the game, it only looks like it uses three parts. There was a, a null part that was being used. So that bug was fixed. So if you have an ax that uses three parts, now the divisor is three instead of four. So if you take the tier of all three of those parts, add them up and divide by three, if that value is 4.5 or higher, you have a chance to get a legendary weapon. And I've done it here. You can see I've crafted a legendary one-handed axe using all tier five parts. So this works for one-handed axes, one-handed maces, two-handed axes, but it doesn't work for throwing axes. And it's not that there's a bug, it's that throwing axes only go up to tier four parts. So at best, you can build a tier four throwing axe, not a tier 4.5 or higher. So you'll never get legendary throwing axes through crafting. Another thing that they did not fix is things like two-handed pole arms, where the guards and pommels are optional. There's a none part, and unfortunately it's considered a tier one part. So when coming up with the tier of the weapon, it uses a tier one part, even though nothing is technically used there. So in the case of a two-handed pole arms, you would have to use a guard and a pommel to get 4.5 or higher, or a legendary weapon. So throwing axes can't be because they have no tier five parts. With one-handed axes and one-handed maces, the pommel is optional. And unfortunately, if you use the nun pommel, then it uses a tier one part in the calculation. So five plus five plus one is 11 divided by three is not 4.5 or higher. So you will have to use all tier five parts in order for this to work. So that's it. If there's anything else, let me know in the comments.